How I'd get a million subs if I had to start from scratch. That was the title that Hamza released yesterday on one of his videos, which is quite interesting because it goes well with one of the comments I got from one of my videos. Let's see if I can pull it up. That there is someone who wants to start a school community just as I am, but there needs to be a solid work in place before you can even think about driving people to your community. Although I agree with a lot of things, let's dissect what Hamza had to say about this. And why should we listen to Hamza? Well, he has over 2 million subscribers, so we can probably learn some key nuggets that we can apply for our own processes of how to do this. So the first part of this video is quite short. And the key nugget from this is that you want to create a cult following. So what does a cult following mean? It means that similar to a Netflix series, you want to create binge-worthy content where you create content and someone can't wait to jump in into the next content and watch the next and watch the next and watch the next. Now, the formula for a series is, as anyone knows this, is that you have a massive cliffhanger at the end. And that is what pulls you off to click on the next video. Now, Hamza talks more about creating similar content, which is familiar frequently. That means that someone who watches a content, they got a value, they got some insights from you, and then they can't wait to jump in, watch the next video, and they know, they know exactly what they get. Meaning they get the same type of video, with the same narration, with the same guy, the same recognition, and the same voice. And that is quite interesting to, to go for. So I will take that little thing and just make sure that my videos are pretty much in the same style. Now, I am experimenting a lot with this YouTube channel as well and see what pops, what doesn't pop. So I will do my best with that. Now, another thing it talks about, which is the majority of this video, at least, which he released, and that is to pick your audience. And what it means by that is that he now has 2 million plus subscribers, but they are, the majority of it consists of teenage boys. And as you can see, this guy has probably outgrown the teenage boy phase, meaning that he doesn't really resonate and can create content about what he wants to do, which is entrepreneurship mainly. So him he's sitting down and talking about how he's setting up a funnel to make money online doesn't resonate with a teenage boy. And that is audience building, essentially attracting the right type of audience that will potentially want to work with you, be a part of your circle and being just a paid member. And that is what I am trying to do as well. So my dream audience is probably someone who is similar to myself, who is on a self-improvement journey, works out as a dog, creates businesses, grows traffic and stuff like that. But what I take away from this entire thing is also that you want to future-proof your business a little bit. So I am going to have a vision a little bit of where I'm taking this community and where a potential audience that I want to attract should go towards. Meaning that it will most likely be business owners who, you know, have been around for a while. They are perhaps struggling with starting a business. There are some mental roadblocks. They need some help, some key nuggets, some wisdom in order to elevate life and make things effortless and flow. So there are two insights from this video I want you to take with you. One is that create binge-worthy content. Now, binge-worthy content in itself means that you need to have an array, a big bulk of content. For example, you could create a building public just as I am, or you could create more simple edited videos where you can essentially commit to being consistent and creating one content piece a day. Or maybe you just create a high quality content piece per week on YouTube. Whatever you fancy, just make sure that it is consistent from one shot to the next. I am experimenting a lot with this YouTube channel right now to find my brand, to find my voice, to find my audience. But that's the part of the game. And once you settle in on something, then just double down on that. Insight number two is that choose and pick your audience in the beginning of wisely. Who are you attracting? What is your dream client? Would they want to buy something from you or work with you? Can you help them? Is there a transformation to be made? That is the lessons from this video and I hope it was helpful. So let's check the comments I got yesterday from my videos. And Eddie, my man, he is my G. And yeah, man, I'm working on creating some better videos right now, upping my video editing game. And I actually quite enjoy video editing and creating videos with more emotion. As you can see, I'm already smiling just by talking to it. So I think I found my thing. And the comment yesterday about not starting a school yet and waiting eight months. Bro, there are so many 
like mindset shifts that needs to happen here. I commented a little bit about this, but I think I will create a dedicated video about actually not waiting. I will do that tomorrow. Until next time, see you.